Hello. Uh, once again, you are welcome to this course. Um, we shall be looking at the second module of our visual analytics with Power BI and Python. And once again, my name is Ola Dimeji. Um, for, for those of us that missed the first module, I have advised that we we'll go through the first module before coming for this module. Um, the first module, during the first module, we look at, uh, we looked extensively at what visual analytics is, uh, the use cases, and some little applications as well as visual analytics objects. Um, this time around, we're going to look at the second, the second side, the second model that is talking about use cases, basically use cases for, this, for visual analytics in an organization. We are only talking about the players and the various stakeholders. So the first thing that we need to discuss is around business use cases. Now, in order to be able to understand the use cases of visual analytics in, the, in, in business, there are questions that have that, been that tailored to what most line managers or senior executives ask. This question uh, these questions are better answered using data. For example, looking at a customer service manager, because of his level, he's interested in how many calls the organization receives within a particular month, because he will want to find out how the team is performing, how the product is moving, how, how the, the, the team is servicing the clients, and what the challenges are out there. So, he asked questions such as how many calls came in, in the last quarter, how many calls, how many calls came in, in the last year. Compare this year with last year, what happens? Are there, do we have any difference? Do we have more this year over last year? Why? These are questions that data can give us an insight into a solution. What are the origin of the origins of these calls? What are the top five call types? How many of these calls translate to business opportunity? How many issues reported were resolved? Remember, clients to customer will keep sending issues, requests here and there, but is the company meeting up with them on time? Is the company fulfilling those orders on time? Is the company responding to those, those issues reported on time? Is the company actually responding to calls? What are the customer's major complaints? Are the complaints being tracked? Are there efforts in place to reduce the number of complaints? So these are basically most, these are basically the questions that affect every customer service manager. They are questions that they keep looking for answers to, but data provides insight. From a dashboard, all these questions can have an answer in less than five seconds in as much as there is a dashboard. It's just a matter of looking at a dashboard that speaks to customer service manager. Now let's look at a purchase manager. You will agree with me that a purchase manager is an organization. In an organization is the one responsible for buying either, either raw materials or items that the organizations will keep for, for use. So he has a lot of questions too from his own side because he deals with a lot of vendors. He deals with a whole lot of people here and there. So he needs to find out how he is performing. The management of the organization would like to find out how he is performing. So in order to establish this position that this man is performing or not, questions will be asked. Questions such as which raw material is being purchased the most? That means the company purchases a lot of raw materials. Which of them do we buy most? Who is the most reliable vendor? Since we have so many vendors, who of them is the most reliable? Who of them do we need to drop? And why do we need to drop such? Who is performing? Who is not performing? What are the top five purchase headers? What is the nature of the issue being, uh, of the items being purchased? What is the issue? Issue trend with items being purchased. How many purchase returns were affected in the past months? What are our vendors' major complaints? So these are basically the question the purchase manager tends to ask, so as to be able to find out what he needs to do better in order to support the organization. Now, looking at the finance manager, 
The finance manager at this level here has a myriad of questions because it's the one behind the organization's finance. What is the organization's profit trend? He, want to, he or she wants to see that, okay, how, is, how are we doing from January to December last year, this year? Have we been able to compare this year to last year? What is the difference? Are we spending more this year over last year? Are we making more money here? This, this year, over last year, have we making more money in this quarter, in this month, over last month? These are questions behind the mind of a finance manager. He asks, where is the expense chunk going into? Yeah, we keep spending money. Where do we have a lot of our spending going into? Can we just look into it? Data provides the answer. Which product gives the highest returns? Remember, as the finance person is interested in the return on investment. We are buying this product, we are selling them. Yes, what is the profit that we are making? Data provides the answer. What are the top five revenue headers? Where do we have most of our revenue? Is it in selling A, in selling B, in selling C, in selling D? Depending on what the organization is involved in. Is the organization making profit year on year? That means this year over last year, last year over the year before, and the like. What is the organization's existing liability profile? Of course, it's the, because it's an organization, there are most the liabilities. Payment to vendor is a liability. So, what is the company meeting up with the agreed terms? These are questions behind the mind, at the back of the mind of a finance manager. Now, talking about a marketing manager, he's interested in what he uses in communicating an organization's uh, products to the public. How are they getting across to us, the clients? So that is his own prerogatives. So he asks questions, where did the subscriber come from? Is it website, is it PUS, is it cost registration, co-registration, partner, event, and the like. Find out where subscriber top Stop engaging with your email campaign. You do a lot of email campaigns, but all of a sudden we find out that the response from it becomes so low. Why? These are questions we can get answers to using data. How do we identify which subscriber respond the most through email channel? How do we identify which respond through phone call? How do we identify which respond through chat via Facebook and other related social media platforms? Visual analytics stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders? These are the people, the users of visual analytics products. Where there are different levels of stakeholders, we have the executives, we have the users down the line. We have the line managers, depending on their stake within the task, within a visual analytic project. Now, when presentations are made to stakeholders with respect to visual analytics. The understanding, knowledge of the stakeholders is key. Because if, if the knowledge of the stakeholder is sought, it helps in driving visual analytic reports. You know what they are talking about. You know what the pains are. Then you speak to it because you have knowledge about what they are talking about. Then the next one is telling a story telling a story about the product. When telling a story, you have the visual analytics report already, but you need to make it a story, a story to reflect the organization's current problems and the solutions, how the solution will be arrived at. This is the story that will interest an average stakeholder because they know that they have a problem and they know that there is a solution. But to get the solution, you need to tell a story to make it sync better. The stakeholder prefer actionable stories. You are telling them stories, yes, but the story should turn into something actionable, something that will tell them this is the next step. Something that will tell them as soon as this, is, this happens, then this. That is what the kind of story that stakeholders would like to see. Keep the story simple. Keep that presentation simple. Let it go from high level to granular. High level, Yes, it will attract the people at the, at, the, at the top, 
As soon as you, as, as you start going granular, you are speaking to the line managers towards the people down the line. So basically, these are the stakeholders within an organization. Thank you.